Hi guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. We are live right now at 10, 12. A little bit earlier, it's at 10, 15, but we're live now. We figured we might as well just start, hello. <laughs> this is the 32nd annual. I'm so proud. Give me a second, let me finish the intro and then stay right there, don't move. Okay, so 32nd annual Miami International Film Festival, you guys, welcome everybody. There's been 125 films featured this year. I'm super excited and right now we are in the historic Guzman Center. So we've been here before, but this time we are live. So this is the award ceremony for everybody. Uh, join us, please. And uh, let's see what everybody has to say about this wonderful year 2015 of the Miami International Film Festival. ¿Qué tal amigos? Estamos en el 32 años ya festejando el Miami Internacional eh, Festival del Cine, muy importante para Miami, por supuesto viene gente de todos lados del mundo. Estamos en el histórico eh, edificio Guzmán Center aquí en Downtown Miami y este año nada más y nada menos han habido 125 películas, así que vamos a ver, vamos a recorrer un poquito por acá. Eh, esta es la ceremonia de, de cierre, por supuesto, hace una semana que la gente está viendo películas. Vamos a ver qué opinan y, y bueno, comenzamos con la señora que está acá, que ya empezó el programa conmigo, ¿eh? Así que, a ver, primero que todo, estamos al aire, estamos en vivo. Así que estamos en vivo e indirecto. ¿Cómo es tu nombre? Mi nombre es Carmen Estrada. Muy bien, Carmen Estrada. Y veo de que estábamos haciendo justo la, la intro, así que por eso te tuve que dejar a un lado. Si no, no, no saben ni dónde estamos, si no, ¿no? Seguro. Ahora que saben dónde estamos, cuéntame un poquito a ver eh, tu involucración en este evento tan importante. Yo soy en parte de la industria, I'm a filmmaker y me, me gradúo ahora en, en mayo y voy a coger my MFA en creative writing, pero I'm a film student now y, y por eso me, me dieron la entrada a este glorioso lugar Porque mi papá trabajaba aquí en, en los 60 cuando nosotros vivimos de Cuba. Okay. Well, so she's a student here in Miami for uh, filmmaking. So Miami International Film Festival is probably one of your next goals, right? To feature a film there? Of course. So what are you thinking of making? What, what are you thinking of making, of filming? What do you I like? Will. Do you like drama? Do you like comedy? What do you like? I like uh, oh, not not no drama no not that no thing comedy, okay action no no I, my stories are based on real people fit. yes okay. but actually a lot of people that are in this festival most of them are documentaries uh they're they make you feel they make you live the moment that's a, that's a difference about this festival all right anything you want to say to everybody else watching hi miami day all right <laughs> thank you muy linda thank muchas you. gracias eh? yeah. <laughs> All right, well, that happens sometimes when we're live, you know, spontaneous people just randomly come up to you. So let's go ahead and start over here. This is, uh, by the way, you go up the stairs and all of a sudden you have a huge photo booth. So we're going to go straight to there and see what people are doing. Apparently you get to goof around and your picture comes right up there. So look at that. That has to do with film, right? Of course. Eso tiene que ver con el cine, ¿no? Por supuesto. Vienes, te sacas una foto y sales en la pantalla al aire. Así que, ¿qué tal? Did you guys go already? Did you get your picture taken? About it. He's like, él está pensando, dice, no lo sé. Vamos a colarnos por acá a ver los resultados de las personas. Venga por aquí. If you guys can make it through, I'll wait for you on the other side. All right, let's see what. Guy, I never, I never thought there'd be this many people actually just to take a picture. So I don't even know if we should go in or just get out. No sé si entrar o salir porque hay demasiada gente en un, en un cuadradito pequeño. Which one are you going to? That one or that one? This one? What's the difference? You have no idea. What's the difference? Uh, I have no idea. Uh, this is the line for that, for, to, so you can pretend you're skiing. I have no idea. Are you in the film industry or? Not at all, no. no. Just here to have fun? Yes. Sounds good, have fun then. <laughs> all right, we're just showing you guys, so we're going back. We're just showing you a little bit of what they have set up uh, in the Guzman Center. So over here you can take pictures, have fun, act like you're, you know, in uh, in, a, in a storm of snow. Le estamos mostrando nada más para que vean, tengan una idea más o menos de lo que es. Eh, lo que han montado, porque esto lo montan todos los años, este año en particular, eh, todos los años tienen eso, que es donde tú vas y pretendes de que estás en, un, en una escena en particular y bueno, ahí estamos. ¿Cómo están? Muy bien, a ver, vamos a darnos la vuelta. Me encanta porque están extremadamente bien vestidos, ¿eh? parece que andan para el Oscar. Muchas gracias. Bueno, ¿Sus nombres? Jaycee Mora y Jorge Álvarez. ¿Tú eres Jorge? No, Jorge y, y tú eres... Jorge Álvarez. Muy bien, ¿y de dónde vienen? Oh, vivimos acá. Mayamenses. Ya no soy importante, no mentira. Estamos en el Miami Film Festival, los Miamenses son más importantes de cualquier otro. Bueno, ¿han visto alguna película? Sí, las hemos visto, hemos visto varias. La de ayer la miramos, Lecuana, estaba buenísima. ¿Es la primera vez que atienden este festival? No. 
Ya, tercer año. Es un no experto. Me... Sí, Soy ya bien. lo conocemos todos. Ya puedes decir hasta crítica si no, quieres. Claro, sí. ¿Qué es lo bueno y qué es lo malo? Bueno, hay poco malo. Sí, hay mucho sí. bueno. ¿Y ¿Qué es lo bueno? A ver, las películas, las fiestas, bueno, no, la no, gente. Las películas están hermosas, sí. Mucho diferente, de diversidad y es muy bueno. Me dicen de que las películas tienen demasiado como sentimiento. O sea, son como muy, muy hecho de re cosas reales, eh, estilo documental. Lo cual eso es difícil que salga en teatro, seamos honestos, ¿no? O sea, porque no es muy de vender taquilla, pero es lo que vale. Claro que sí, son unas películas que tienen mucha cultura, de, demasiado sentimiento, viene de las raíces de cada pueblo, de donde esa película es hecha, especialmente la de ayer, que era para Lecuana, un, un pianista extraordinario de Cuba. Muchas historias cubanas. Excelente, muy buena. Muy... A lot of Cuban histories. Bueno amigos, saluden a Miami TV, ¿eh? desde aquí, desde Miami Film Festival. Disfruten y no tomen mucho, eh. No. Cuidadito. <laughs> Bye. All right, so, uh, I love that because it's true, you know, there's a lot of uh, sentiment in, I guess, what you would call these uh, Miamans feels. So, let's go over here. How are you guys? Hello. Talk to them. Should I go to her? Yes. Okay, I'm going to her then. How are you? I'm great, thank you. What's your name? Ashley. Ashley, and you are? Isaac. Isaac, where are you guys from? Orlando. Orlando, Florida. Are you visiting? Yeah. Yes, we're visiting my aunt. She's a big supporter of the Miami Film Society. So you should be speaking. Yeah. <laughs> now she's like, maybe I should. <laughs> so what do you think? Uh, was it worth it to come down from Orlando to Miami to yes. hang out with your aunt? Yeah. Wonderful. So great. Orlando. Does Orlando have a film festival? Yeah, we do. I've never been. But You've never been? Maybe. Maybe. Should I take your word for it? Probably yeah, not, you right? probably shouldn't. I'm not very trustworthy. Well, everybody should have a film festival. I mean, all right, I'm going to go over there and see what she has to say. So since you've been in this industry for so long, how do you think this year went? Oh, I thought it was fabulous. Best, best yet. Jay's wonderful. People think it's the best one? Really? Yeah. Why, why, why is that? I'm intrigued. Because I took off from my work almost the entire 10 days. I must have seen 15, 12 to 15 movies. I mean, it was wonderful. And we, we, one night we invited 20 people to join us and had an after party with the producer and the director. It was wonderful, yeah. Well, congratulations, and you're one of the people that make this happen, so thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys, have fun. Bye-bye. Ciao. <laughs> bueno, continuamos por aquí, y así de facilmente nos vamos para el otro lado, que aquí tú puedes venir, tomas algo, comes algo, y del otro lado está la pista de baile donde la gente por lo menos se descansa un poco, así que vamos a meternos por aquí. Eh. How are you, gentlemen? Uh, very good. How are you? Where are you from? England. England. France. England and France. I told you it was international, right? Everybody comes here. So, are you guys filmmakers or are you just hanging out? I'm a film critic. Ooh, you're a tough one then. Okay. You know, well, what did you think? You had 121 films. Did you watch all of them? No one can watch all of them. I don't, I don't think I, so. I just think I saw some of the best ones. So, which one were the best ones out there and the ones that you would say they need a little bit more work? I think one of the movies that won an award tonight in the gray scale is very, very strong. I thought that was a great film. So that's good. You agree with the judges? Yeah. You should be one of them. <laughs> Maybe Next time, right? Next time. And what did you think? Excuse me? What did you think of the movie? Is good? Which one? I, all of them. I don't know. Anyone in particular? Well, I mean, I haven't seen so many because, I mean, I was like having meetings, but that's it. All right, so you're pretty much just accompanying him during the night. Having some... He's having some. <laughs> so he wor you work and he has fun. Well, your job. He, he does his own work, you know. <laughs> All right, well, have fun, have some drinks, dance it off. There's a dance floor on the other side. Don't forget, this is Miami, so you have to have fun, okay? Thank you. All right, bye, guys. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> bueno, continuamos. De Francia, de Europa, a ver. Vamos por aquí, vamos a meternos en los grupitos que tenemos por aquí. Despacito nos metemos. ¿Cómo están? Hola. No te vayas, ven. <laughs> que venía justo a ustedes. A ver, si te das la vuelta un poquitito, así no le damos la espalda a la cámara. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Qué? Dame tu nombre. Raquel Vergara, de Toples, ¿te acuerdas? Ah, sí, claro, claro. ¿Cómo me voy a olvidar? ¿Dónde, ¿Qué pasó? No, mentira. No, no te quites de la competencia hoy. No, no. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo es tu nombre? Alexander. Alexander, ¿qué haces? ¿Qué, ¿En qué trabajo? Sí, ¿de qué trabajo? Seguros. No, porque yo te pregunto porque parece modista. Parece un modista, por eso digo, él es un crítico de la moda, sí o sí. No. Él, bueno, pero te voy a presentar a alguien aquí que sí lo es y te va a agarrar de inmediato. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo es tu nombre? Hola, me llamo Boris Bacache. Bien, ¿y a, tu, a qué te dedicas si puedo preguntar? Bueno, yo soy fashionista, trabajo con Jay Laplante. So, I called him a fashionista. Oh, I mean, okay. he, he looks like one, you know. Claro. Look at him, he's all out there, all style. Sí, bueno, tú sabes que lo importante es disfrutar este festival. 
sobre todo que el nombre de los latinos como siempre muy bien puesto. Y aquí estoy con un gran cantante eh, dominicano. Iba, iba a llegar, de, despacito iba a llegar a él. Ah, ¿sabes? pues bueno. Adelante, ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo es tu nombre? Nelson O. Nelson O. Oh, oh sí. qué gusto conocerte. Oh, oh. Bueno, es la primera vez en Miami, estoy segurísima que no. ¿Vives aquí o...? Sí, vivo aquí en Miami. Soy local, pero de República Dominicana. Okay. Claro. Yo pensaba que era de República Dominicana y te viniste de vacaciones. Son local, así que hay que aportarlo más que a cualquier otro cantante, porque los locales tienen que salir adelante. ¿Qué tipo de música cantas? Bachata y merengue. Bachata, ve la bachata. Muéstrame un poquito de bachata. No, pero cuando la tengo compañera, no se me gusta. A ver, dale, dale un poquito de compañera. No, 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 bien. Más bien, hagamos, lo, hagamos lo siguiente. Vamos a pedirle al DJ del otro lado que ponga un poquito de bachata. Y así les enseñamos. Ok. Bueno, Perfecto. así que tú le tienes que dar un poco de... de... No, tú te bueno, no le tienes. Que... Tú me imagino que le das un poco de crítica en su vestimenta, ¿no? Bueno, si tú trabajas, trabajas con varios artistas de televisión latinos. Es muy difícil contento. tener un fashionista al lado, ¿sabes? Nunca están contentos. Bueno, la moda a, a todos les incomoda un poco, pero es lo mejor. Y los latinos tenemos buen gusto. Pónganle mucho ánimo. La moda es algo importante en la vida, así que disfrútenlo. Muy bien. Bueno, y volviendo al Film Festival, ¿vieron alguna película? Sí, vimos varias. ¿Cuál fue tu favorita? Mi favorita fue eh, Wild Tales, Relatos Salvajes, que fue el opening. Fue una película espectacular porque tenía muchas historias que todas eran súper chistosas y fuera de control. Sí. Se mucho entonces. Buenísima. Sí. Muchísimo. Es fácil reír hoy en día con las películas. Bueno, no es fácil reír y es difícil lograr una comedia bien hecha, pero súper hecha. Esa se merecía el Oscar. Yeah. Pero, ¿Quién sabe que lo intenten, que lo intenten? Uno nunca sabe lo que va a pasar. Bueno, ¿y tú viste alguna película? Bueno, fui la vida de Billy Corbin, Dog Fight, muy buena. No le voy a decir de qué trata para que la vean. Sí, tiene que quedarse ahí. Bueno, ¿y el Film Festival en sí? ¿Conocieron gente? ¿Valió la pena? Bueno, sí, a muchos directores, sobre todo. Tú sabes que este, digamos, está la meca del cine acá, espectacular. Mucha gente latina, directores nuevos. Y creo que la oportunidad es lo más importante a los grandes talentos latinos que tenemos. Así que latinos arriba, ¿ok? Miami, you know, we call it the international city of everybody, so there you go. All right, so they love the movies, he's a bachata singer, so I told him to go ahead and dance yeah. some later on. And uh, yeah. all right, guys, say Miami International Film Festival. Yeah! Bye. Woo! Thank you. Muchas gracias, que disfruten la noche, te muy linda. Bueno, chao. All right, guys, come on, let's keep going. Let's see who else we, we can find in the middle of uh, this wonderful fest. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to scoot over here. Hello, mister. Hello. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. What's your name? Warren Chappelle. Warren Chappelle. Oh, okay. And I'm from Toronto. You're from Toronto. I've been going to the Toronto Film Festival for 30 years. So you ever since it began, and I'm now in Miami for the winter. Okay. And this isn't winter. This is already summer. For us, it's it's winter. <laughs> you're, you're getting a good a good climate. You know yes. that, right? It was, but this is wonderful because this is how the, the Toronto Festival was. 20 years ago. And, and what happened now? It's bigger. 20,000 people go. You line up, you line up for two hours. To I don't want to go to that one. <laughs> you line up into Toronto Film Festival for two hours. Here you get right in. It's wonderful. You, you know what I, do they, do they foreign films, so I see a lot of foreign films here. It's, it's really. Let me ask you something. Do they still do movies in Toronto? Yes. They, okay. Yes. I think what happened was that Miami closed up so much the opportunity of people doing film here that maybe that's why the industry slowed down a little bit. You know, the city put up all these that's limits. True. That's you probably know, true. It kind of runs and away. Also, also, the Toronto Film Festival has become a red carpet, starstruck film system. Yeah. So a lot of stars go there, and it's it, they're overwhelmed. But this is a really great place to see wonderful films. I hope you enjoy it and say hello to Miami TV. Hello Miami, I'm glad to be here. Thank you, enjoy your night, thank you. Okay, thank you. Qué lindo, él viene de Toronto, Canadá, dice de que en, en Toronto tienen 40.000 personas, así que tienes que hacer una línea enorme para entrar a, un, a ver una película nada más. Dice, hoy en día por lo menos estoy aquí y no hace falta hacer una cola tan larga. ¿Cómo están? Otra vez tú en mi vida. ¿Cómo es? <risa> Yo no me, no me olvido de esta figura, ¿eh? Yo me tengo que acordar, a ver, espérate. <risa> Tiene mala memoria, pero yo no tengo mala memoria. No, soy buena con las caras, pero con los nombres soy horrible. La última vez tenías un vestidito rojo y salmente escotadito como ese delicioso. Siempre son escotados, porque si no, mira, hay que mantener el estilo. Maravilloso. Bueno, eh, recuérdame tu nombre. Mi nombre es Beto Giraldo, yo soy el by manager del Miami International Film Festival. Okay. 
¿Y por qué nunca te tuvimos a ti para una entrevista sobre el evento? Porque yo me escondo de las entrevistas y no hay mujeres hermosas entrevistando. No vale, no vale. No hay nadie entrevistándose. <risa> hay mucha gente con fotos. Estoy esperando contigo, ¿eh? Bueno, o sea que tenés un montón para hablar, ¿no? ¿Qué están pasando? ¿La pasaron bien? Te digo de... de que hemos llegado hace una hora, por lo menos hoy, el festival, estamos hablando con la gente, todo el mundo está extremadamente emocionado por las películas. Lo que más me gusta del Festival de Miami es que las películas tienen sentido. O sea, tienen un propósito, tienen un mensaje... Y como mucha gente ha dicho, eh, mucha gente latina, entonces estás como con el, la cultura total. ¿Hubo alguna película que te llamara más la atención? Te tengo que ser honesta, no las vi, no tuvimos tiempo, nosotros dijimos vamos Para a cubrirlo. Para la gente que está mirando allá siempre tienen que saber que todos los que trabajamos en esto nunca podemos ver absolutamente nada, pero después tenemos tiempo de ir a la librería a verlas, ¿no? Pero sabes que yo por lo menos en el tiempo libre por ahí después tengo tiempo para hacerlo, sin embargo mientras tanto... Me voy por lo, que, por lo que dice la gente. Yo te voy a recomendar dos películas. Una que se llama eh, en, el, en la gama de los grises, una película chilena que ganó como mejor ópera prima espectacular. Y la otra que te voy a recomendar es Kamisaki. ¿Cómo es? Kamisaki. Kamisaki. Con un actor español muy bueno que se llama Alex García. Bueno, los españoles son durísimos para, la, para actuar, ¿eh? para el cine. Los colombianos somos más durísimos. ¿eh? <risa> bueno, ¿son colombianos? Sí. Bueno, eh, invita a todo el mundo, van a hacer, imagino, esto cada vez más grande y más grande, pero que no se vuelva como el de Toronto, que me acaba de decir el señor ahí. Dice, en Toronto tienen 40.000 personas esperados afuera para ir a ver una película y nadie puede entrar. Bueno, es, 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 sería es, bueno. es cuestión de educación y es cuestión de proceso. Todo tiene un proceso y ahí vamos. Pero seguro que cada año el festival va a estar mejor. Claro que sí, bueno, ya está en una, en una escala bastante Dame bueno. Un beso que me da siempre cuando termino. Muy, muy, <ríe> muy importante, ¿no? Para Miami, por supuesto, eh, y, han estado haciendo, y han estado haciendo muy buen trabajo. Él se va a quedar ahí. Si yo me quedo aquí, él sigue haciendo eso toda la noche. Bueno, muchas gracias. Gracias a ti. All right, guys, so, um, so he's one of the co-presidents of the Miami Film Festival, and uh, he was just speaking a little bit about the festival, about he recommended some movies to watch. And um, I, I was honest with him. I'm like, I, I don't necessarily remember you. He's like, you interviewed me last time. I'm like, okay, I'm really good with faces, but I'm not so good with, you know, with names. So I did my best to go ahead and uh, keep that in mind. So let's go over here and see what these guys think. How are you guys? Hi. So he was saying they keep laughing and they're smiling. So that's a good group to go interview. Was he right? Well, we're, we're yes, because you're having fun, right? Yes, of course. Also, you better be having fun. <laughs> so we were talking about the, the closing night film. Okay. Which was hilarious. You liked it? It was very funny. It was am amazingly funny, yes. And also thought provoking. Okay. Yes, yeah, so yeah. I thought can go any human uh, concept in there that it's good to analyze. Um, so um, now, I'm, now I'm getting sad that I missed them, you know. I think we should have had more extra time on this. But okay, so th you liked it as well? You liked it also? Absolutely, it was amazing. Now, are you, do you agree with who won? Well, I can say I agreed with the short that won. Well, you got to be honest, you know, I mean, it's all a matter of opinion. I never think that there's a winner and a loser. I think no, it's just no, no, a matter I of how you see it. I haven't seen all the films, okay, okay, okay. but I, I picked that particular short to win. Okay. So, the one that won the award? You picked I it? Did. Yeah, I did. Oh, wow, okay. I didn't get to see it, but, but you did a good job. Thank you. It's 125 films. How could you see all of them? Exactly. Your eyes would be like, <laughs> you wouldn't be able to be here right now. Exactly. Now you didn't see all of them. <laughs> all right, are you from Miami? Yes, I am. Yes, you are. So does this bring a, this brings a lot of uh, tourists, right, in? Absolutely. I'm in hospitality, so I know all about tourism. So are they doing good? Do they need to uh, keep something in mind to step it up, or are they doing just fine? They're doing just fine. They need to keep doing what they're doing. The sun is shining. That's all we need. People are happy, and you're doing a great job, right? Thank you so much. Absolutely. So are you. You're doing amazing. Thank you. All right, guys. Have fun. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, sir. How are you? I remember you. I remember you too. Where do I remember you from? <laughs> from film festival, probably. No, from Life is Art. Oh, Life is Art. Okay. Support. Then you're okay. So that's culture in the city. Well, you wouldn't know culture in the city because that was this. We're not doing anything. Recently. You're not doing it. <laughs> okay. All right. So now we're we're in the Miami Film Festival. Yeah. 32 years. What do you think? Great. This is Great. the best film festival. This is the best film festival I've ever been to. I mean, I mean, really? I, and you've been to a couple? I've been to yeah. a lot. Why would you say it's the best one? Because of the movies that they picked? Or? Well, the movies are outstanding. I've seen some great movies. I'll send you my reviews when I... But... Mucha gente es crítica. Dice que muy buenas las películas, muy bueno el evento. Eh, eh, en mayoría de las personas dicen de que la última película fue la más chistosa de todas. O sea, de que, que, 
Hablas español. Yo estoy traduciendo porque me olvidé de que ellos a veces no hablan inglés, así que tengo que dar los dos idiomas. ¿Has entrevistado con um, Alex Pino? Si me lo presentas, sí. ¿Dónde está? Me lo traes, me lo traes. Okay, okay. Dale, dale, te espero aquí. Ok, mientras tanto vamos a ir ahí adentro. Ok. He directed my favorite film of the entire... Of the entire series. event. Yeah, wonderful right, film. We're, we're live, so you just bring him in and we'll do it. All right, all right. Okay. A ver, ¿dónde me están diciendo para ir aquí? Que, eh, ¿dónde? Seguimos. Seguimos aquí. Seguimos. Ah, aquí, ok. ¿Aquí? ¿Where are we going? Aria. Uh, he was with uh, 21 Sorry? Uh, he had to do it. He was directing uh, 21 Jump Street, the film. 21? Jump Street. Jump Street, ok. The gen well, they seem like they're having a really, like, private conversation. I feel bad just going up to them. <laughs> do you want to get him for me? Um, Try. No, they, they seem like they're like, they're, you know, involved in just like a quiet conversation. They seem like they're just hanging out here, so. <laughs> you seem like you're having, you look good, you look good, don't worry, don't worry. I'm like, they, they were taking me over there, and I'm like, whenever I see somebody having like a deep conversation, I feel bad just cutting off. Checking you out. Oh, God. There's nothing to check out here, so forget it. <laughs> How are you, ladies? I'm great, fabulous. Where are you from? I'm Palm Beach, Florida. Palm Beach, where are you from? Miami, South Beach. Miami, ¿hablan español alguna de las dos? Sí, sí, yo hablo español. English. Oh, sorry. English, Spanish. All right, so, did you see the movie tonight? Did we see the movie? Well, be honest, you did. Okay, I didn't either, so it's okay, you know, I'm just getting feedback. We were late and we couldn't, we were online and we missed the movie. I'm so sorry. No problem. So, what do you think about the event? How come you guys are just sitting here? Go out, have a drink, dance a little bit, enjoy. Yeah, no. dancing. Yeah. We're getting into it. <laughs> If you stay there, you're gonna fall asleep. I know it. That seems like a really comfortable Lexus couch. <laughs> There's too many retrosexuals. There's not a real man here. Sorry. <laughs> I guess we have a con for the Miami Film Festival for her. <laughs> you know, like real. Well, you have a, uh, you know, film producers. Sometimes, you know, being a film producer can, you know, maybe they seem that way, but not necessarily. It's just, it, they're artists. You know, artists are different. It happens. It happens, honey. <laughs> Well, have fun tonight. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. Now, now I gotta get myself together. All right, let's move over there. Come on. Let's move over here and see what everybody has to say. Hello. You don't have to leave. Stay right there. Everybody's telling me to come to you. And I, I saw you were having a really deep conversation. I didn't want to just cut in, but it seems like I might do it. Okay, I'm doing good then. I'm not gonna get like slapped or anything. Okay. So. <laughs> How are you? Do you want a chair properly? Uh, I'm fine. I've done this. Many, yeah. many times. So, <laughs> how are you? I'm, I'm doing great. All right, please tell everybody your name in the movie that you directed. My name is Phil Lord. I directed the Lego movie and, and some other stuff. And this is Ama Sante. She's a, a genius. Hi, genius. Hi, I'm Amara Sante. I'm director of Bell and Witch. We both did Night Jury this year. All right, so now you're in Miami. What do you think about this whole thing? Uh, did you have a movie particularly featured here, or are you just hanging out uh, we juried uh, a couple of the awards and had a great time saw a lot of great movies um, it's my hometown so I'm really proud to have all these movies here um, I got to get to know um, I was and uh, Mercedes was on the jury with us we had a wonderful time so I'm hoping that now you two genius and genius can come together and maybe come up with something cool to watch when I see that's already happening well I've already I've got, I've got a few ideas for for dragging maybe Phil over to London and maybe coming and doing a couple of talks that I think could be really, really useful for our industry in the UK. So I, I'm kind of excited, but I've got to persuade him to do that first. I, I think he's already into it, yeah. <laughs> maybe we can do like a Lego historical... Oh my God, a Lego historical... Drama with racial overtones. Let me tell you, wouldn't that be great? A little bit of gender in there as well, some gender oh, equality yeah. issues in there. I have a, a Lego dragon. We could. You How never is that possible? <laughs> so funny. All right, it'll be really cool. Here first, right? So I'm gonna hold him to it. Yeah. Right, so what was the what was the most difficult part about putting that movie together? Oh gosh, the Lego movie. Uh, uh, where do I start? Is talking about our Lego historical? Well, it's gonna be really hard to finance it. <laughs> hey, always keep faith. You never know. Okay. You know what? Yeah. With your box office. Um, the idea, you know, movies that are based on history tend to do well, yes. so we'll find a way, you we'll know, find a way. 
Your integrity, my box office, my lack of integrity. I feel like together they could <laughs> have the perfect bond right now. <laughs> yeah, I think it'll work great. Now, what happened to bringing movies to Miami? What happened to bringing movies to Miami? We saw a couple of movies that were shot here. Um, that were great movies that were shot here. I mean, does it feel like there's a deficit of movies being shot here? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I, it's been so many years since a really like good theater, you know, box office movie was shot in Miami. I think everybody's just going elsewhere. So now you have to ask the Miami homeboy to do something. Come on, homeboy, are you bringing the are you bringing the cinema back to us or? Uh, look, it's a great place to shoot. Everybody wants to be here. Um, the movies that have been shot here are gorgeous. We saw a couple that were gorgeous. Um, but there's a no but. I, I know there's a but. Pass those tax credits. Exactly. Pass, <laughs> Pass the tax credits. You gotta be honest, you know. And you know, Miami, you gotta be a little lighter on the yeah. on their production. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. That's what I like to know. It's so, jobs. You know, they're job bills. It's also a great town to have fun. So I mean, if you're filming here, you know, you gotta make sure that people who do come to shoot here stay focused. Because I mean, I'm loving the spa. I'm loving the weather. I'm loving the beach. I mean, it's difficult for you to stay focused in Miami. <laughs> stay focused because I'm used to the wind, the rain, the cold. I'm used to shooting in Europe where we don't get any of this. This is like paradise to me. So. Take like a month off and then start the movie and you'll be fine. That's true. That's the way to do it. Get used to it and then shoot the movie. Agreed. Okay, thank you so much. Enjoy your night and uh, go out, have a drink, mingle a little more and brainstorm more ideas. We want to see another movie come out. All right. I thank promise. you. Thanks a lot. Right, guys, bye. Okay, thank, you. Bye. thank you. Bueno, amigos, continuamos. Eh, ay, qué fantástico. Ahora sí, él es el que hizo la película de Lego. Así que, eh, but the, but the, give me a second. I gotta translate everything I just heard. So, <laughs> él es el que hizo la película de Lego eh, y ella en particular también. Eh, no me acuerdo Creo que de, de UK, de United Kingdom viene también. O sea, de que están trayendo ideas juntos. Eh, y le digo, bueno, ¿y qué onda? ¿Por qué no traen un poco también el ambiente a Miami? Y dicen, bueno, tienen que bajar un poquito en el tema de los taxes. Y digo, es verdad. Por eso la gente no hace muchas películas en Miami. Sin embargo, igual sabemos de que la película de Lego eh, pues es mucho computarizado, entonces dice, estamos teniendo una idea de hacer como un estilo Lego, pero teatrical de los años de antes, como con dragones y castillos, digo, eso sí que va a ser muy difícil de hacer. All right, now where am I going? Where is he? Okay, he went over there. I remember you, how are you? I'm doing great, how are you? Remember, remember your name again? Terrence Murphy. Terrence Murphy, and you're an actor, of course, look I'm at us. An actor, writer. So is it going good? Fantastic. I was in a film this year that was in the festival, and I'm uh, getting ready to shoot a film next month that I wrote. So it's fantastic. Awesome. Yes. It's like a dream come true for you. I'm fan it's, I'm for anybody, I think, right? I'm very, very happy about it. Yeah. I hope you make good contacts here. Oh yeah, it's a great place for the contacts. Yeah. Right. Thank you. Let me, let, let me see who he wants me to interview. And... Bueno, a ver, no me. Ese es el hombre que hay que entrevistar. A ver, ya. Bueno, cómo estás? Muy bien. Bueno, cómo es su nombre? Alex Pina. Alex Pina, cuéntame un poquito porque ese señor habló muy bien de ti, así que vamos a introducirte a ti a la gente. Tenemos gente de, de Europa, tenemos gente de Estados Unidos, de Latinoamérica, así que cuéntame un poco de ti, qué es lo que has hecho y tu participación en este festival. Bueno, hemos traído una película que se llama Kamikaze, que mañana a la una volverá a estar aquí en, en Miami y que la verdad es que ha sido una acogida tremenda, es una comedia, una tragicomedia. Y... ¿Cómo son las tragicomedias? Bueno, algo malo y te reís igual. Pues la tragicomedia, realmente, cuanto es una tragedia por debajo y una comedia por arriba, y con, con actores de comedia que tienen grandísimos problemas y que los superan. Eso es un poquito kamikaze. O sea, que ese es el estilo kamikaze. Y la película la pueden ver, ya la vieron, me imagino, en el festival, ¿no? O sea, la gente ya, la pudo ver. Ya la vieron, fue una acogida fantástica y, y, bueno, yo creo que les gustó muchísimo. O sea, que mañana la pueden volver a ver. Y ahora la gente, ¿dónde la puede ver? ¿En el internet o en España o todavía no, no la tienes? Bueno, esperamos que en breve la puedan ver aquí en Estados Unidos y se puede ver ya en internet, sí. Bueno, el internet mira que es el liche del mundo hoy en día, así que eh, esa es la manera más fácil de llegarle al mundo entero. Y sabes que me hiciste pensar, tragicomedia, ¿es verdad o no? Que cuando tú ves a alguien y tiene una tragedia, y si, por ejemplo, si yo agarro y me tropiezo, ¿no te matas de la risa? Bueno, van muy unidos realmente. El drama y la comedia están absolutamente unidos, o sea que... Nos reímos sin querer de la tragedia de la gente. Sí, sí. Somos malas personas por dentro. No, hombre, no, tanto como eso no. No, no, mentira. Bueno, sos español, obvio, ¿de qué parte? Soy eh, de Pamplona, del norte, del País Vasco. De Pamplona, bueno, 
estamos en cable ahora en Madrid y Barcelona, así que mándale saludo a todos tus compatriotas eh, brasileños, iba a decir, eh, españoles. Pues eh, hola a todos los del norte y a todos los de Madrid, también mis amigos. Muchísimas gracias. Se está haciendo buena representación por aquí en el Miami Film Festival. Eh. Bueno, muchas gracias. Adiós, que disfrutes. All right, guys. Tranquilo, ¿dónde vamos? A ver. Necesito que me entrevises. Él ganó un premio el año pasado en la okay. que él está produciendo este año y está con... Y me quedo aquí, entonces. Oh. <risa> oh, ven, ven. Bueno, tráemelo, tráemelo para aquí. Uh, bueno, como ven, eh, entonces, muchas personas aquí... Este es el VIP, o sea, que aquí están las personas que están haciendo las películas. Hello. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm the only pregnant person here. That is the I think every woman goes through that every now and then, so it's okay. You know what's nice? I don't have to worry about eating or drinking, like I'm It's I'm jealous. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. And he does. Look at him. He's this perfectly thin figure. Coming out right now. Hi. I'm Margaret, and this is Noah. And Margaret and Noah, how are you? Good, good. We have right, so she was insisting that we interviewed you, so please let everybody know who you are and what you did. We're really famous. We had a short film. We had a short film here. And uh, this is the film I was in. Yes. Oh, this is the movie you're in. Okay, awesome. Okay. So did he did a good did he do a good job? He was all right. Everybody oh. loves Terrence. Everybody loves Terrence. So what was the movie about? It was about um, it's a real Florida tale. It's about a uh, a young girl who um de la Florida. Oh, a young girl, yeah, who um uh, lives in the Everglades and she has to save her family's bed and breakfast from foreclosure. And uh, when a famous author comes to visit the bed and breakfast, she thinks she sees a way out. Yeah. Should I give more away? It's, yeah. it's, it's like a dark coming of age story. It involves a little bit of a murder mystery, a little bit of alligators in the swamp, and uh, some life lessons. So it's a lot of fun. Anything that has been shot in the Everglades, and I know, <laughs> uh, is tragic, okay? <laughs> it needs to be. There's some humorous moments, but there and there's a twist at the end, of course. But um. I'm glad that you chose Florida to film. I mean, you filmed it here. I think more people need to come here and start. The film industry needs to just get back up all over again. Come on. We, we really wanted to highlight South Florida in a way that most people haven't seen it before. Um, people know the glitz and glamour of Miami, and that's great. And we love to we love to highlight that as well. Um, but we really wanted to show part of South Florida that maybe people aren't aware of the swamp country, the 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 small town life here. And um, there's, it's full of, um, it's full of uh, alligators and snakes and, and uh, the swamp. So we wanted careful. to show that. Yeah, we wanted to show that to the audience and kind of teach them a little bit about Florida. It's funny because even people that live here, a lot of times you ask them and you say, have you been to the Everglades? They're like, what? Where, where is that? <laughs> exactly. And that's not right. Make sure it stays away from the Everglades. For a little bit. For a little bit. And then we get them. Swamp walks. We've done swamp walks? We've done swamp walks. And we're going to. We're going to take our, we have a two-year-old at home, we're going to take her out. She needs another year or two. You know, we need... But you go with the guys that, like, you know, go with you, and they wear, like, the sticks and, like, the big boots and stuff. So you're safe. You guys can still do it if you're a tourist. Yeah. Yeah. She's doing a water birth, actually, in the Everglades. Are you really? Yeah. Well, are you, are you doing a water birth? No. Hey, I have a family member who did it, so... It's great. It's not for me, but I think it's... Everglades, I mean, there'll just be somebody waiting, you know. <laughs> okay, that was too much. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. I uh, hope you enjoy the Miami Film Festival. Have fun. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Qué lindo. Bueno, hicieron una película aquí en la Florida en el en eh, en los Everglades. Así que dicen muchas personas tenían que ver. Dice Miami no solamente es el glitz and glamour, sino también tiene el tema de los cocodrilos y las víboras. Y se grabamos ahí. Hicimos una película que es un poco también comedia tragedia. Eh, pero bueno, no mucha gente sabe o viene aquí para o viene aquí eh, para ver esa parte de, de Miami así que, o de la Florida, así que interesante por lo menos que estén filmando eh, en esos lugares. Bueno, vamos para el otro lado. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and just straight head up to the other side while you are accompanied, by the way, <laughs> little by little, and, or, or we'll go over here, you know, since you guys aren't doing much, so I might as well just talk to you, you know. What's going on? Not much, and yourself? Nothing. <laughs> well, I, I'm just doing my job, you know. <laughs> What's your name? Luis. Luis, ¿y tú? Julián. Julián y Luis, bueno, ¿tienen algo que ver con el cine o están aquí jangueando? No, estamos aquí pasando la buena. ¿Sí? sí. Bueno, ¿y qué, qué opinan? ¿Conocieron a la, la gente interesante? Ah, sí. ¿Sabes qué hemos visto? Yo vi una actriz española. Ok. Ah, o sea que te, te saben las películas, ¿eh? So he knows his movies, or he, he, he met an actress. ¿Y las películas las viste algunas? No, este año no. Este año no pude estar muy ocupado, pero antes venían las películas. Yo vi Dogfight. La película Dogfight. ¿Una, ¿Una película de dogfighting? No, 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 no. Así se llama, se llama Dogfight. Oh, 
That must have been brutal. <laughs> no, no, it's the uh, Billy Corbin. Era de del hombre que hizo oh, buena. ganó su su vida peleando aquí en Miami en Perry. Está buena, está buenísima la película. Yeah, we should have came to the movies. Bueno, th thank you so much. Que disfruten. Adiós. <laughs> Somebody's talking. I don't know where he's coming from, but I hear a voice in the speakers. All right, guys, 32nd Annual. Oh, oh no, it's open. Okay, 32nd Annual, the Miami Film Festival. We're heading over to the other way, to the other side. <laughs> and now they start with the Latin music. Bueno, ahora comienzan con la música latina. Estamos en el Miami Film Festival, 32 años. Vamos a ver, a ver qué. ¿Cómo estás? How are you? Muy bien, ¿cómo estás tú? Muy bien, ¿cómo es tu nombre? Guillermo, y aquí está mi amigo Polo. Oh, no. I, don't I don't speak English. I don't speak English. Hola, español. Hola, español, obviamente. Se mueve, se mueve ¿Eso es argentino? Argentino. ¿Argentino? Argentino. Bueno, estamos saliendo en Argentina, en Canal 425, así que, ¿qué opinan del Miami Film Festival? Increíble, se lo recomiendo a todos lo mejor. Una ciudad increíble y las mujeres impecables, la mejor del mundo. Increíble. ¿Tienen alguna película? Sí, la última que fuimos hoy a las 7 de la tarde, la de... fue muy linda, muy linda. ¿Hablan inglés? O sea, que la entendieron perfecto. Sí, sí por supuesto. ¿Conocieron? ¿Están en la industria del cine o están aquí? Es ¿Se colaron entonces? Ah, están de sponsor. No, más o menos que nos colamos. Hicimos la gran Argentina, la gran Argentina. Es muy normal en Miami. <risa> bueno, ¿están esponsoreando con quién? Yo trabajo para Atlantic Broadband y la compañía nos envía a nosotros. ¿Y van a estar poniendo las películas en Atlantic? Por supuesto. Ya bueno. Va a salir. Además es, es fácil para ustedes, ¿no? Porque les dan un, 125 películas gratis. Por supuesto, por supuesto. Bueno, así que van, van a poder verlas ahí. A ver, ¿cuándo las llevan a Argentina? No sé, eso depende de Atlantic. Ya ahí se lo puse muy difícil, ¿viste? En un futuro, en un futuro cercano, en un futuro cercano. Bueno, saluden a Miami TV, gracias. Un abrazo para todos, gracias. Un abrazo. Disfruten, adiós. All right, they're from Argentina, and they uh, actually also, he's like, I'm a sponsor, they're Atlantic, Atlantic Broadcast, so uh, they're having all their movies broadcasted in Atlantic, by the way, so. ¿Cómo estás? Sí, yo ya me enfermé hace mucho tiempo, no te preocupes, ya soy inmune. Sí. ¿Cómo estás? Pues aquí disfrutando de este maravilloso festival. Ellos están contigo. Ellos son de Canadá. How are you guys? Uh, good, how are you? You don't look like you speak Spanish. No, uh, no. No, <laughs> no pero, pero trajeron una película muy linda que, no. se, que se llama Guidance. Tell me about your movie. Uh, it's called Guidance. Uh, and it's a dark comedy and it played on Wednesday night and the crowd really liked it, so we're happy. Oh, was that the one tonight? No. No, it was on uh, Thursday night. Thursday night? Thursday night. Did you see the one tonight? No, we didn't see it. We didn't see it. We're just coming here for the party. I, I did see two movies tonight. I saw the uh, Cuban eh, 13,000 Voces y también después la Panameña Historia del Canal. Okay, muy bien. ¡Viva oh, Panamá! ¡Viva Cuba! ¡Viva Canadá! Hey, what do you, uh, okay, Miami Film Festival. How productive has this been for you? Was it good? You, would you do it again? Would you tell people to go ahead and feature their film here? Absolutely. I mean, the, the audience has been really diverse, but really responsive. And it seems like a festival that really cares about the audience. And they were really smart about where they put our film. So we got a really good crowd, and everyone in the Q&A, I find everybody very friendly here. They didn't just like throw it into a, like, a lineup. They actually like thought about what crowd was that we're bringing in. Yeah. I was really impressed by how everything's been organized. I've been, I've been happy. It's been fun. It's been I would have never thought of that. That's really good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well. 32 años de ser la marquesa que sabe mover el abanico, ¿verdad? No sé. ¿Cómo se mueve el abanico? Okay. I didn't get the joke. I'm sorry. Okay. Bueno, muchas gracias. Thank you so much. Thank Have fun. Congratulations. Congratulations. We're live, so do it fast. Oh, like, we're live. We're live. We're live. <laughs> Well, we continue? You, you, I mean, you can say whatever you want. Okay, well, what, what do you stream to? We're in Miami TV. And you have an app you can download right now in your iPhones, iTunes, Miami TV. All right, bye, thank you. Yo me empiezo a bailar ya. Esto es como una salsita merengue. Hi! Hay que bailar porque si no nos aburrimos, eh. Hola para ver, eh. <risa> ¿Cómo estamos? ¿Bien? Todo bien, gracias a Dios. Todo bien. ¿Qué, qué, qué bárbaro el evento? Es lo mejor que hay aquí ahora en Miami de este mes. Lo mejor. ¿Y el mes que viene? El mes que viene viene el Open de Miami, el tenis. Ah, sí, sí, sí. El tenis es otra cosa. ¿Cómo es tu nombre? Luis Ignacio Peláez. Luis 
¿Quién se pela? ¿Cómo? Asturiano, pero nacido en Cuba. Asturiano, pero nacido en Cuba. Bueno, me imagino que viste algunas películas cubanas, ¿no? <risa> sí. ¿Qué te pareció? Está buenísima. Buenísima. Y conocí a las cubanitas que están aquí visitando. ¿Hay unas cubanitas? Sí, están de lo más bonitas. Y tiene mucha chispa. Chacha. Mira, pero, esa es mi novia. Muchas mamá. gracias. Mira, ay, pero. Mira, es italiana, cubana. Creo que novia ya se pasó de moda. Tu señora digo, podría ser. Se, señor. No. Mi, mi mujer, mi mujer. No. Mi, mi, mi jeva. No. Es que, es que no hay palabras. No digas nada mejor. Compañero, nada más. Mi amiga. Ahí. Ahí va. Esto es mi novia que hago como que muy feo. Porque está muy viejo. No, no te van a casar. No, no, no. No. <laughs> 14 years they've been together and he's like they're not getting married. If it works, it works. <laughs> Leave it that way. Hand in his house or mine in mine. That's it. Yo mi casa, ella es su casa, ella es la de él. Me da dos gritos, me voy. Bueno, está muy bien, los felicito. Con darle que sean felices, lo único que importa. Ahí es. Chao, gracias. I'm like, as long as you're happy, you know, that's all that matters. So, where, where? How you doing? Where are you going? I'm going nowhere. I'm talking to you right now. How are you doing? Hey. All right, remind me your name again. Marcus. What's your Marcus. Name? Jenny. Hey, Jenny, how are you? I get to talk to him before we start a live, and he's like, I want to see what you're all about. Okay, so you see everybody's dancing now. The vibe is more mellow. Everybody's, Amazing. it's in a different kind of like vibe. It's a vibe. great vibe. You have, I mean, Yes, you have a little bit of great food, great ambiance, historic buildings, great drinks, beautiful ladies everywhere. It's a good mixture of everything. It's Miami. Miami's known for being hot. This party is no exception at all. This party's living up to it. Miami Live TV, this one is for you. Another fantastic event for you all to capture, for you all to immortalize. Thank you. I think I'm going to hire him. <laughs> you're, you're, you're really good at talking. Thank you very much. What do you do for a living? I talk a little bit. What? I work for Lexus. Oh, that's why. You're like a spokesperson, you know? I wouldn't say I'm a spokesperson. No, you know how to talk. Okay, you're okay. You're, we are just you're here, mostly as Lexus sponsor. We're just here to support the Miami International Film Festival. It's our fifth year that we've been able to be a sponsor of this fantastic event. You guys have been here every year. Yeah. I mean, it's a, great, it's a great event, it's a great cause. I mean, for not just a cause, but it's a matter of bringing these artists, which truly are artists, to new heights and being able to have a, a stage for them to showcase their amazing talents and works. So, Lexus is fortunate to take part in that. And if you have not known, we have fantastic vehicles out there for everyone. Please check out Lexus.com. Right, now I'm going to have to Here's charge you. Okay, stop right there. <laughs> it's good. Thank you. Have fun tonight. Thank you. You too. Bye-bye. <laughs> Ay, 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 empezó a hablar y hablar y eso resulta que trabajaba para Alexis y le digo, no, 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 te voy a tener que pagar, te voy a tener que cobrar ahora. How are you? Great. Where are you from? Miami. Oh, so you you got this. You got this dance, you know, this is just the the la <laughs> That's good. What was that? <laughs> I'm just following you. Okay, so you're from Miami. Is this your first time at the film festival? No. Oh, many, many. Years. Years. No way. 30 years you've been... 30, 30. 30 yeah. years you've been coming here. 30. I know, I know, I'm saying 30. Oh. <laughs> and it's been going for... 32, and it's been going for 32. So you are a real critic. You, you can talk about how this has grown. So anything you want to tell them? It's really so much better than last year's. It's it's great. Why? Why? Much better films, good parties, but really very more social, and also very good films. The quality is up. Really, up. The films are going films up. Are much better. Awesome! All right, dance off. Since, uh, since Jay LaPlante has come here, Jay LaPlante made the big difference. Awesome! All right, guys, I'm glad you enjoyed. Have fun. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> We gotta keep dancing. We're gonna have it. But they have 30 years coming to the festival. They say 30 years coming here. We are the real critics. We can really say that it has grown a lot. Ah, I have to show you. This is the best way to drink tequila. Look, they have tequila patron. Okay, one by one, they are trying the different tequilas. So imagine what better than that. Let's go. I'm going to go to the other one. Okay, let's go. 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 Okay, let's go.
Which one are you trying? El café. El café, va a tomar el café. Sí, el clásico. El clásico. El de ¿Cuál café. es ese? ¿El primero? Sí, el primero, ese. Patrón. No. Ah, el de café rico. Mira, sí. se, se fue atrás tuyo. No, bueno, hay de café, hay de. de espera, Mira, no sé. Te limpié la cola para que vayas primero. Sí, <risa> No era para que se vaya. English, I wasn't for you to move away. That's okay. I'd rather have you on camera than me. Ah, oh, no, no. I was going one by one. But which one are you trying? I'm not, I'm, listen, I'm good behind the camera. I'm no good in front of it. Everybody's good in front yeah, of the yeah, camera yeah. when I'm they're with me. Yes, I believe that. You got to bring the good out of people. So which one are you trying? I'm going to try the cream. Cream. The cream side. Can't you just like try a little bit of each? No? No, no, no se puede probar uno de cada uno? Como que muy chiquito porque si no terminas en el piso. <laughs> We're gonna try a little bit of each without falling over, okay? And I'm gonna find somebody to try with me, so let's see what happens. She's getting the cafe, by the way. Where's the line? I don't understand. <laughs> This is uh, included, you know. No entiendo dónde está la cola, pero bueno, vamos a ver. ¿Cómo estás? Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? I spoke to you in Spanish. I thought you spoke Spanish. Tequila Patron, has anybody asked you to try a little bit of, a, of each? Of course, yeah. Can we do that? The most um, popular is the creamsicle, definitely. The creamsicle and the Mexicana. Okay, I think the only one I've tried is probably the regular one and the coffee one. What would you like to try? Can you do really, really little? Yeah. Because, you know, I can't drink much if not I'll fall on camera. Whatever so. you like. So let's do a little bit of each. Vamos, vamos a probar un poquito de cada uno, a ver qué pasa. Yo me quedo acá. Eh. I'm gonna stay here, by the way. Mientras tanto, mientras ella lo sirve, vamos por acá. Are you guys next? Yes. Hey, which one are you trying? Yes, yes, yes. Can ask. Oh, so I'm the guinea pig. Yes. I'm trying a little bit of each, so I'll let you know. Okay. But I'm a girl. That's a bad advice. Do you have a favorite? Oh, that's a, that's a lot. It's a whole montón. Okay, I know this one. So I'm gonna pass this down. Co coffee? Coffee? I know how that tastes. That's really good. That's really good. This is the Ricky. You gotta try it. Slime Ricky. Very delicious. Oh, how come you guys don't make this? Like, out of a bottle? What? <laughs> Do you? What? Do they make these out of a bottle? Like, no. Are these for sale? No, right? Yeah. You mix it yourself, but it's delicious. Um, you mix it yourself at home. Boring. I want the bottle, you know. <laughs> All right. So, and let's see that one. Oh, that's strong. I, okay, I think he wanted one next, so. Okay. to the coffee one. Thank you so much. Have fun tonight. Thank you. You're not allowed to have one? Oh, I had a couple. Okay, okay. <laughs> bueno, este no estaba malo, pero ahora quedo con los dos. Voy a tener que... Eh, voy, a, voy a dejarlo por aquí, a ver. Me, me, voy a, me voy a cargar aquí. Este lo voy a dejar porque sabe mucho café. Me voy a tomar este. I'm gonna drink this one. That one is spicy and it tastes like coffee. <laughs> All right, we're trying to get through. Hold on, give us a second. All right, let's go over here. Bueno, ahora, ahora intentamos pasar por aquí. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver. This, this, this is the vibe that I like from the film festival. You know, everybody having fun and dancing around. Uh, it's kind of like, okay, it's over. We watch great films, and now it's time to just relax. How are you, ladies? Hey. Hi, how are you? Doing good. Where are you from? Miami. Miami, Miami. A montón de gente de Miami. Do you speak Spanish? Cuban, Cuban from Miami. Oh, it's good that you're from Miami. Yeah, yeah, I said it in a good way because you know it's Miami Film Festival. So, right, right. so are you guys filmmakers? Are you just no, no, no. are you critics? Are you just hanging out? Yeah. What are you? Out enjoying the film festival. Okay. Watching. No, what was your favorite movie? Uh, From the ones that you saw. Tonight. Tonight's movie. Yeah. That was the only one you saw, right? Oh no, I've seen about five. Yeah. I, I haven't seen any of them. So. Favorite was not. Innocent Killers. Oh, that. Why was that? It was fantastic. Good plot and a, a great ending. Like a comedy? Like a drama comedy. 
Drama comedies, I, I've heard. I mean, I guess that was like the theme of this festival. So how come you're not dancing? Did I stop you? Well, we were until you came to interview us. <laughs> Wild Mira, hay que actuar natural, eh? Eso es lo lindo. La gente quiere ver Miami, la gente sonriendo. ¿Van a ir a la calle 8? Uh, no. no. Nosotros tampoco, así que... <laughs> bueno, bueno, disfruten. Picture? Yeah, of course. Okay. Oh, bueno, unos uno segunditos y seguimos, amigos. Gracias, Al. Ah, bueno. Hello. ¿Por qué se va? ¿Por qué se va? Porque, porque le intimida, le intimida. Ven para acá. Oye, para Miami TV, buenas noches a todos. Buenas noches, ¿cómo están? Muy bien. ¿De dónde eres? Yo soy de las Islas Canarias. Islas Canarias, ¿tú? Salvador, Salvador, qué bonita. De Ecuador. De Ecuador, Salvador, y acá, tenemos gente de todos lados. ¿Y, y, y tu señora? Nuestra amiga se fue porque es argentina. Yo soy uruguaya, nos hubiéramos llevado re bien. Uruguaya, pero... ¿Qué es argentino? ¿De qué? Yo soy de Tacuarembó. Yo, yo vivo en José Ignacio. José Ignacio. ¿Ah, sí? <risa> yo soy uruguaya de casamiento. ¿Cómo, cómo? Por casamiento soy uruguaya. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Bueno, pero tenés un poquito, mira, somos todas buenas personas. Obvio. Eso, sin duda, sí, sí, sí. sin duda. Vamos a dar un, un saludo especial, por favor, para Miami TV. Oye, a todos los televidentes de Miami TV, disfruten de Miami. Bueno, pero antes que nada, quiero saber un poco qué opinan del festival. El festival ha sido una maravilla, salvo por una cosa. Estos señores hicieron el mejor corto del festival y no se premió. Freddy of Winwood. El director, el director y la actriz principal, por favor. Cuénteme un poco de su corte. <risa> He put you on the spot, you know. Bueno, like... <risa> él no tiene nada que ver en la producción. Pero es nuestro amigo. fan, nuestro el fan número uno, el fan número uno. Pero sí, el corto no ganó, pero estamos bien, muy bien. Pero, ¿y qué opinan del corto que les ganó? No lo hemos visto. <risa> Entonces, en realidad no saben si se lo merecían o si no, no. se lo merecían. Bueno, me dijeron. Sí, seguro que sí, pero menos que este. Yo no, yo no creo mucho en los, en los premios porque creo de que cada persona tiene una opinión diferente y el crítico también, lo que te puede gustar a ti, a mí yo lo puedo odiar. Entonces, las lágrimas cuando la veas. Esto es muy importante, ¿eh? si le llegas al sentimiento de la persona, eso es muy difícil de hacer. Cuando la vayas a ver, llévate una caja de pañuelos porque la vas a necesitar. Y eso que... Yo lloro de nada. 12 minutos. Oh my god. Los, los, the short films are the more difficult films to make. Because you guys have to put what everybody else does in like an hour and a half or two in a little bit. And it's like all this commotion of emotions. I mean, it's a short film. You gotta, you know, synthesize everything. ¿Dónde la hicieron? In Wingwood. Ay, no me... It's a, it's a local one. Ay, local. Qué lindo. Two months. We did it in two months. So, si, si America TV la quiere pasar en un... No, America TV no, Miami TV. Mira, no. Si la Miami pasa... TV, perdón, Miami TV. No, no, si la pasa en América TV, pero bueno, te ven localmente, pero aquí te ve todo el mundo. Miami TV, lo mejor. Dale, sí, no hay problema. Te la pasamos cuando quieras. Y yo te puedo decir porque soy una de las dueñas. So. <risa> Dale, bueno, muchas gracias, que disfruten, felicidades. Y sabes que no importa, un premio es un premio. Lo que vale es que tú lo hiciste de corazón y que sabes de qué suma el producto. No, no, ya dejándonos de broma, yo creo que el hecho de que estemos participando en el festival ya es un éxito. ¿Ok? Esto, andate a canes. El, próximo, siguiente, andate a canes. el siguiente. Bueno, vas a bailar, disfruten. Atacaremos de nuevo. <risa> Chao. A ver. A ver, guys. So. Sí, mira que estamos en vivo, no puedo cortar. Ahora lo vemos. A ver, guys. Vamos a So, oh, he was really tall. We're gonna. We're. Where are we going? I'm trying to see behind the camera. Oh, okay. How are you? How are you? Hi. I'm fine. Eso fue muy espontáneo, lo sé. <laughs> Ese es el propósito de nosotros. Venimos de la nada y empezamos a entrevistar. Bueno, pues nada. Aquí estoy. O sea, que siempre tienes que tener cuidado con lo que estás haciendo. ¿Por qué? Estás siempre sonriente porque si no, venimos nosotros. <laughs> Pero a ver, tu nombre. Orlando Rojas. Programador, bueno, cuéntame un poco del evento de hoy. 
¿Del evento, de la fiesta o de las películas? Todo, de todo. Es una maravilla, como siempre. El final del festival es, un, es, es muy lindo, el festival del festival. ¿Te viste alguna? ¿Eh? ¿Viste alguna película? He visto millones. <risa> ¿De las 125 del festival? No, he visto con alrededor de, de 30. Uy, pero un montón. Te, te llegaste lejos. Llegué lejos, sí. Bueno, ¿y alguna que te haya resaltado demasiado dentro me de todo? Me gustó casi. Ah, hablé con el director anterior, muy bien. Me gustó mucho, me gustó La Sal de la Tierra, de la de Bim Bender. Me gustó todo el ciclo cubano, me gustó mucho. ¿Tú eres cubano? Yo soy cubano y escogí las películas. ¡Ah, con razón! ¡No vale! ¿Cuándo vas, a, ¿Cuándo vas a coger una uruguaya? ¿Uruguaya? Voy a poner Mr. Kaplan en el Tower Theater. Ahora, a partir del lunes. Ah, es verdad, lo vi, lo vi. En el de Coral Gable, ¿no? No, que no. Coral Gable, esa es nuestra competencia. ¿En dónde? ¿Esa es tu competencia? No, 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 no. Eso. Entonces estamos confundidos. No, el de Tower Theater, en la pequeña Habana. Ok, en la pequeña Habana. Entrenamos, entrenamos el lunes... Mr. Kaplan. ¿Es uruguaya? ¿Eh? ¿Y es uruguaya? Es uruguaya, claro. La es, la, que la... es la candidata uruguaya al Oscar este año. Una comedia espectacular. Debía haber estado nominada. Voy a ir, voy a ir al opening. ¿Cuándo es el opening? El, la conversación con el director es el viernes a las 7 de la noche. Vamos a tener un Skype con, con Álvaro Brechner, que es el director uruguayo. Dale, bueno, te felicito. Bueno, Creo que escogiste muy bien porque todo el mundo está recontra contento con todo lo que hicieron en el Film Festival, así que felicidades. Muchas gracias a ti. Sigue haciendo lo que haces y vete, ve a divertirte que te lo mereces. <risa> All right, guys, come on. But we're going to, down to the bar. <laughs> we're, we're, uh, we're headed down to the bar because I promised Joe that he was going to make a, a pretty drink for us. ¿Cómo estás? How are you? Muy bien, gracias. I love your outfit, very pretty. Thank you, boy. I've seen you on YouTube. <laughs> you're, more, you're more beautiful in person. Ah, oh, thank you. I like the song. What's your name? Annie Jones. Annie, okay, who are you here with? I'm here with Jeff. Hi. <laughs> oh, he was taking the picture. <laughs> How are you? Oh, you can translate? Yeah. Okay, so did you see any movies? Um, I saw a little bit of everything. Everything's so good, though. It's amazing. I heard Kamikaze was fantastic. Kamikaze. I keep hearing about that movie. Oh so. my gosh, it's fantastic. You have to go see it. So. Say hello to my TV. Bye. Are you Thank gonna you take him out to dance? Yes, yes. We're gonna go. Come on. He's not shy. <laughs> You gotta, you gotta turn, turn. And, and we're dancing. Me lo robé, me lo robé. No, no. Thank you. Have fun. All right, thank you so much. Bye. Qué linda. Él era sordo mudo, entonces ahí intentamos hablar como podemos. All right, vamos a hablar con Joe, eh. How are you doing? What's up, beautiful? How are you? So the person that makes everybody happy tonight It's Joe, right here. Hi guys, and how are you? Joe is going to be at the Miami Run Festival as well, so we're going to see am. him there as well. I'll be there. So what has been the most popular drink so far? The Smoky Paprika Ultimate Margarita. Paprika drink? Paprika drink. That sounds horrible. That Smoky Sea Salt Paprika. It sounds salty, right? Yes, it's salty. Salty. And what was the other one? That was the whole thing, margarita. It's all margarita. Right. Oh, it's all one drink? That's the one that you can show off the most? He, okay, he knows what he's talking about. Okay, look. Let's try it, I guess. Want it? Yeah. Va a algo extraño. Yo no sé. Va a ser algo con paprika y qué sé yo. Vamos a ver. How are you? Hi. ¿Cómo estás? I'm fine. ¿Vos? Good? ¿Hablas inglés? inglés? Muy lindo vestido. Muchas gracias. Bueno, ¿de dónde sos? De Argentina. Bueno, Argentina, mira, ahí tenés una Uruguay, yo soy de Uruguay también, o sea que estás rodeado. ¿Qué hacen acá? ¿Qué hacen acá? Y... no sé. <ríe> es tan lindo Uruguay que no sé por qué nos fuimos. No entiendo, la verdad, cómo hacen acá. Bueno, ¿y estás con el, estás con el festival o...? Sí, estoy con el festival. ¿Qué opinas? ¿Mejor este año que otros? Y me tocó estar como jurado este año y... Ay, qué medio... Espera, ya vuelvo, ya vuelvo. All right, so what's it called again? Smoky Sea Salt Margarita. The guys drink, right? No, women have been drinking it all night. Oh, that's so Come on, I made 
hate it. It's got to be good. No, that's soft. That's very good. He's a mixologist, not a bartender. I, I have to say that because he knows what he mixes. Thank you, Joe. Bueno, ahora vuelvo, a ver. Me dejaste tirado por el no, vaso de alcohol ese, no, el no. desastre. <laughs> no, yo le prometí a él de que íbamos a hacer una mezcla para la cámara porque tenés que mostrar un poco de variedad, si no la gente mira cara, cara, cara y se aburre. Y la hizo la mezcla, sí. Sí, muy buena. Vaso de plástico no va mucho igual, pero... No, pero acá no, si no se te cae, después tiene... Que hay. Bueno, a ver, dale, date la vuelta. De después te atienden, después te atienden. ¿Qué hago? Dale, comentemos un poco, a ver, ¿fuiste crítico? ¿Tuviste 125 películas? Crítico no, jurado okay, y jurado. tuve que ver películas, así que en vez de... ¿Viste las 125? No, vi un par, vi, fui jurado de una de las secciones del festival. O sea, que te dan secciones. Claro. ¿Por eso te ves un poquito cansado? No te entiendo nada. ¿Por eso te ves un poquitín cansado? Y sí, porque aparte hubo eh, películas de liberación del jurado y, wow. y hay que ponerse de acuerdo y esas cosas. Bueno, ¿y cuántos jurados subieron? Y hubo dos o tres jurados de distintas secciones. Ahí me tocó ver algunas películas. Y eso. ¿Tuviste que pelear con alguno porque no... no? Todos estaban de acuerdo entonces. Bueno, entonces las películas hablaron por sí mismas. Sí, yo soy productor y los productores convencemos a todo el mundo a poco así. Bueno, ¿vivís en Argentina? Sí. Vale, saluda a todos los argentinos. Saludos para Argentina, para Miami, no sé para quién, pero bueno. bueno la verdad saludamos. somos en todo el mundo. En Argentina nos puedes ver. El... Okay. En Argentina nos puedes ver en el canal 425. Bueno, voy a, voy a tratar de verlo. <risa> Chao. Bueno, ahora no porque está en vivo, así que imposible. <risa> bueno, ya lo voy a ver. Pero te felicito, creo que hicieron de buenas, escogieron bien. Igualmente. Disfruta, toma algo, relájate, dale. <risa> All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah. <risa> Yo me voy, voy a tomar algo porque si no me voy a quedar sin voz. A ver, no, vamos por aquí, vamos por aquí, vamos por aquí. How are you guys? Hi. Hello. <laughs> How are you? Good, good. You don't have to be shy. Just talk like I'm a regular person, which I am actually. So, what's your name? Luis. What's your name? Luis. Luis, where are you from? Uh, Dominican Republic. República Dominicana. Y tu amigo salió corriendo. Se coló, se coló en la fila. Mira, mira, míralo. <laughs> la cara. Que, bueno, adiós, que disfruten. Dale, dale, adiós, adelante. All right, uh, we're almost wrapping up, by the way, guys. I feel like I need to leave this drink somewhere. <laughs> I feel weird walking around with it. So, how are you guys? Good. How are you? How are you? Good? Hi, we're good. How are you enjoying the Miami Film Festival? Oh, it's been great. That's it? That's all you got to say? It's been amazing. It's been a long week. It's been amazing. We're tired, but it's been amazing. A lot of movies did you, how many movies did you see? We saw 10 in nine days. That's a lot. That's a lot of movies. We're kind of sad that it's over. We have to wait until next year. Where do you live? In Miami or are you visiting? Miami. I'll leave your clothes. You don't have to travel to see them. Any of them that maybe caught your mind and said that's the best movie? Wild Tales. Was, yeah, it was awesome. People have talked about that one, so good. All right, guys, say hi to Miami TV. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you so much. Bye. Yo voy a dejar de ahí a ver que nadie me la robe. Y aquí nos quedamos con la gente que con la gente que queda, eh. Now we're just, uh, this is the end of it. This is where it all ends. You have uh, the beer over there, by the way, and you have the partiers over here, I guess. <laughs> How are you? Hola, ¿cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? ¿Por qué todo el mundo está gritando y vos estás serio? Ok, sí. ¿Te puedes contradecir a la mesa? Ya. Yeah. Bueno, ¿de dónde son? Yo, somos de Santo Domingo, República Dominicana, pero habemos diferentes nacionalidades aquí. Ah, muy bien. Mira, los dominicanos, donde sea que vamos, siempre están de fiesta. Siempre, siempre estamos de fiesta. Siempre. siempre están de fiesta, ¿sí o no? ¿Cómo? Siempre están de fiesta. Sí, nosotros somos personas muy alegres. Muy, muy alegres. bueno, nos preocupa. República Dominicana always smiling, you know? Sí. Bueno, voy a ir, voy a ir por ahí atrás. A ver, espérate. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back here because these are the ladies that were screaming. How are you? Hi. How are you? English, Spanish, what's better? Spanish, whatever you want. Whatever you want. Whatever you want, honey. That's Miami. That's Miami it's for true. you. We're bilingual. Okay, so we have a really big group here. So, Eddie, you guys have to do with a movie or are you just hanging out or critics? We're hanging out. We're hanging out. We're hanging out. So you're in Miami, you heard that there was a film festival and you said, how cool, I'm gonna go. Yeah, that's right. That's about it. That's about it. <laughs> Did you see any movies? No, I didn't. No. Well, I heard they were very good. I didn't see any either. But the party's good? Yeah, it's good, it's good. You guys are gonna be the ones to turn everybody else up. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much. Have a good time. Party it up. Bueno, yo, qué linda, gracias. No vieron ninguna película, no tiene nada que ver con el festival, así que bueno, que disfruten. Bueno, adiós, adiós. A ver por aquí.
Te molesta la luz, ¿no? La luz está como muy fuerte. Un poquito, un poquito. <risa> bueno, ¿dominicano también? Dominicano igual, sí. ¿Y, qué? ¿Y te vinieron en grupo de 20 o qué? Como siempre, una Horrible. guagua, un bus, un bus. Tenemos un bus. ¿Siempre es guagua? Sí, como siempre, un bus, siempre. ¿Y ahora, para, ahora dónde van? Y ahora, eh, vamos a parrandear. ¿A parrandear? No, a parrandear. A parrandear hasta las 5 de la mañana. ¿A parrandear? Sí. Okay. Muy bien. Bueno, que disfruten la fiesta. Gra okay. Gracias, igual. Bueno, buenas noches, dale. Oh, that's, that's my phone. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Okay. All right, guys. So I think that's pretty much it. We're gonna call it a night. Uh, this is we've been live actually for quite some time. Well, actually, no, exactly one hour. It's 11:18. We started at 10:12, so it's not that bad. We're gonna say goodbye over here. And this was the Miami Film Festival for everybody. Let's say goodbye right in the middle. Vamos a despedirnos. Viene viene en el centro de todo. Y a ver si por las dudas nos encontramos a alguien en el camino. And see if maybe we we you know run into somebody on the way out. Hi guys. You seem like a you seem like a happy couple. So, where are you? Did you see? Okay, you are Deborah and Mitchell, right. the record man. Right. How long did it take to make it? Three years. Three long years. I'm not gonna say anything because that's a really long time. <laughs> right. But was it worth it? It was worth it, right? Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. You happy with the results? Yes. Yes. Very much so. Now, are you showing it only at the Miami Film Festival, or are you also hoping to show it somewhere else? We're going to Palm Beach International Film Festival, and then we're off to Nashville to bring the story of uh, Arizona. Miami. Arizona and to bring the story of a Miami sound to uh, other states. It's good, you got a lot of traveling to do. It's always fun. Well, you got a lot of yeah. traveling to do, that's always fun. Oh yeah. Got Hard work and now you get to relax. Yeah, we've been traveling together a long time. So. That's fun. All right guys, say hello to Miami TV. Bye bye. Enjoy your night, thank you so much. Bye bye. Bueno, ellos también hicieron una película, El Hombre del Poder se llama. Eh, y dice de que no solamente la van a mostrar acá, también la van a mostrar en Palm Beach. Mucha gente hace las películas, la muestra en Miami y luego la manda eh, para otros lugares, otros festivales, no por supuesto, porque esa es la manera de hacer que la película sea reconocida. Así que bueno. <risa> bueno, nos despedimos. Un besito muy grande. Son las 11 y 19 aquí en Miami. Los queremos mucho. Eh, este fue 32 años del Miami Film Festival. Uh, estamos aquí en el Guzman Center, en Downtown Miami. Un edificio hermoso, un edificio histórico. Y lo mejor de todo es que tiene el cine al frente, el teatro al frente, así que qué mejor que eso, la gente va, ve la película y luego se viene acá todos los años. Eh, en la misma fecha es marzo, tienen el Miami Film Festival, si están por aquí, visítenos. All right, guys, love you, have an amazing evening, we'll see you next year in Miami Film Festival. This was their 32nd year. Everybody seemed to uh, have nothing but positive things to say about it, which is great. And uh, nothing better than to be in the Guzman Center here in downtown. And also the fact that we've heard that so many people have done the movies here in Miami. Florida is getting back to business. Thank God, back again with the movie industry. Uh, and the best thing is that you have the theater right in front of the Guzman Center, so you get to watch the movies and then come over here for the uh, celebration. So uh, this is it, guys. Thank you so much. Have an amazing evening. Love you. See you next time. Bye.